Why settle for a job when you can have a career, or better yet, a calling? Picture this, a bustling financial firm in the heart of New York City, surrounded by brilliant minds and led by an admirable boss. That was my reality. In the midst of this professional haven, I approached my boss with a groundbreaking idea, selling books on the internet. Little did I know, this idea would revolutionize the way we consume literature. My boss, wise and experienced, took me on a transformative walk in Central Park. As I passionately spilled my vision, he listened attentively. His response, however, wasn't what I expected. He acknowledged the brilliance of my idea but suggested it would be an even better venture for someone without a secure job. At that moment, the choice between a safe career and pursuing my passion presented itself. It was then that I met Jeff Bezos, a 26-year-old with a vision to create an online bookstore from his garage. He boldly proclaimed that he would become the richest man in the world. Now, remember, this was 25 years ago, a time when the concept of a hundred billion dollars seemed unfathomable. Skepticism consumed me, and I couldn't fathom the magnitude of what he foresaw. Little did I know, Bezos was already applauding himself for choosing the right path at the perfect time. Life presents us with choices, and sometimes, the safe path may not lead to the most fulfilling destination. I, like many, was hesitant to believe in the potential of an online bookstore. Yet, as Bezos forged ahead, I remained skeptical. The lesson here is profound, do something you're passionate about. Don't chase the hot passion of the day, rather, choose a path that aligns with your true calling. Reflecting on my own journey, I was once a young boy with a penchant for invention. From automatic gate closers made of cement-filled tires to solar cookers crafted from umbrellas and aluminum foil, I harbored a deep desire to be an inventor. It was this passion that fueled my decision to embark on a less safe path, to follow my calling. I decided to pursue my dreams, regardless of the uncertainty that lay ahead. As I navigated through life, I stumbled upon a military phrase that resonated with me, slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. This wisdom has proven true in every endeavor I've undertaken. It emphasizes the importance of deliberate, thoughtful progress over hasty and erratic actions. In facing adversity and seeking success, I learned to be proud not of my innate gifts but of the hard work and choices that define my journey. Gifts are given, and we can only be grateful for them. It's the choices, the conscious decisions to work hard, to take on challenges, that shape our character and ultimately lead to success. The concept of pride in choices extends to the most crucial decisions in life. The advice to follow your passion isn't merely a cliché, it's a guiding principle. The gifts you possess, whether it's mathematical prowess, physical attractiveness, or any other inherent talent, should be complemented by the choices you make. Choosing to work hard, taking on challenges, and embracing the sweat and effort required to excel, these are the choices you can be truly proud of. A pivotal choice I faced was to opt for a life of ease and comfort or one of service and adventure. This decision, when pondered at the age of 80, would likely evoke more pride than a life lived in the pursuit of comfort. In the face of an ever-changing world, I assert that there has never been a better time to be alive. The sheer amount of inspiration, change, and opportunity that the world presents is staggering. It's an era of unprecedented possibilities, and each individual has the agency to shape their destiny. The life you craft from scratch is a canvas waiting to be painted. How will you use your gifts? What choices will you make? The phrase, slow is smooth, and smooth is fast, holds true in the context of using one's gifts and making choices. Every gift, every talent, can be a tool to empower others when deployed creatively. The satisfaction derived from providing tools and services that unlock the creativity of others is unparalleled. Consider yourself fortunate if you have a career, not just a job. Many individuals find themselves in jobs they don't love, and it's a stark reality that loving your work is a prerequisite for greatness. Think of luminaries like Jules Verne, Mark Twain, Galileo, and Newton. 
The curiosity that fueled their achievements is akin to the spirit that should drive us all. As a civilization, we're blessed with an abundance of gifts and opportunities. Now, as you sit before me, ponder how you'll use these gifts. Will you take pride in your inherent talents, or will you find pride in the choices you make? The path you choose, one of ease and comfort or service and adventure, will define your journey. When faced with criticism, will you wilt or stand firm in your convictions? Will you play it safe or embrace a swashbuckling spirit when challenges arise? Adversity and success go hand in hand, and the choices you make during tough times will shape your narrative. Will you be a cynic, critiquing from the sidelines, or will you be a builder, contributing to progress and positive change? The world offers boundless opportunities, and it's up to you to seize them. In the grand tapestry of life, your choices are the threads that weave the narrative of your journey. Will you be clever at the expense of others, or will you be kind? Will you be relentless in pursuing your goals, or will you succumb to challenges? These choices define your character, and it's the character that endures. In conclusion, let me leave you with this, the life you author from scratch begins with how you use your gifts and the choices you make. Be proud not just of your gifts, but of the hard work and choices that shape your path. As you navigate through life, choose a calling over a job, embrace service and adventure, and be relentless in the pursuit of your goals. The world is teeming with opportunities, and the choices you make will determine the legacy you leave behind. So, will you be a spectator, or will you be the architect of your destiny? The choice is yours. Before Discipline you go, is not just about hard work, that it's about like smart button. work prioritizing and tasks, to this channel, focusing on what's truly important, so you won't miss any and making the most of your time and resources. This shows YouTube Be consistent you in your efforts, unwavering in your commitment, and, it helps and disciplined us spread the in your approach. Sharing now, is caring. let's talk about the power of 